Batargi National Forest actually manages roughly 3 million acres, which is a lot of land. Um, and we can't do it alone. We find a lot of value in partnerships uh, to assist us in that effort uh, with common goals and missions uh, to make a difference for everybody to enjoy. Palisades Water Project and the various partners' uh, involvement, we're specifically looking at addressing unstable road banks, which are really close to stream channels, um, looking at relocating uh, trails that are uh, interacting negatively with stream courses, uh, stream crossings that are currently fords that people have to wade and are unsafe conditions. We're replacing those with trail bridges in several locations. So with relocating trails, we're eliminating stream crossings and allowing the streams to function more naturally and allow it to, to stabilize and reduce the amount of sediment, improving water quality, um, and then also improving aquatic conditions for, from a fishery standpoint, macroinvertebrates and so forth that rely on a, a good, healthy stream system. We chose to partner with the Forest Service because they have an idea of the needs and uh, that take place in the forest. By helping to improve the streams, we also help improve recreational activities better trails for people that, that want to go hiking and as well as better fish habitat in the creeks. All of this is one big circle that we can help the farmers as well as helping our neighbors. Um, you see like in the spring when the, the rivers, all the rivers around the creeks are full of mud and dirt and that's all silt that's going down into the Palisades Reservoir in this case. And we don't want the, this, the reservoir to get filled in with silt. And so beaver dams, um, serve a good purpose in that, but they serve as sediment traps. And so the water's coming down and it pools into it. It's just like if you get a, a bucket of water, and it's got a bunch of dirt in it, you stir it around with a shovel and it's all mixed in, it's suspended, and then you let it sit and it settles down. So it's the same concept about the beaver dam is the water comes in and it, uh, it cuts that strong flow of water and the, water can, uh, the, the dirt can settle to the bottom. We want the dirt to stay in the mountains. We don't want it to go to the reservoir and, and fill it in. So that's the kind of the driving force for this project was right here um, at the North Fork of Bear Creek. We don't want to, to remove the beaver dams. We want them to, the beavers to be able to do what they want. And so we're gonna reroute the trail up around up here so that we can bypass all those beaver dams. The Palisades Reservoir helps provide irrigation water for about 40 to 45% of our growers in East Idaho. So that was the first place we went to help uh, secure the, the watershed in, in this region. Working together with our these partners uh, allows us to achieve our mission with the Forest Service. And one of those missions is, is to provide the cleanest water we can, uh, not only for public drinking water, but also for the water resources, uh, fisheries, uh, the aquatics that rely on good, healthy uh, water in our, in our stream systems. Um, and provide excellent opportunities for those that recreate on national forest lands, as well as those that benefit from downstream use. 